Mina naitua Moses Odiambo. Mina ni mfanyakazi wa hapa Jubli Market Kisumu. Uh, kwa kweli tunaomba ni maombi yangu imekuwa ati imani kuje irudi Kenya yetu. Kwa sababu mahali hakuna amani matatizo yiku ni mengi. Na vile wakati huu tunapitia shida mingi sana. Tulikuwa tunaomba sana o, raisi wetu, o, Ruto na o, o, Raila, o, pia mkubwa wetu hapa, tumempenda sana kama baba wetu. Tunaomba walete amani. Kwa maana inasemekana mahali pa wazee arabiki maneno. Na wakikaa chini wataongea alafu waone mahali wanaweza kurudisha Kenya na wananchi wafurahie matunda ya uhuru kwa sababu tunaona Kenya imeenda kombo kwa sababu tunaishi hapa na hata hatufurahii chochote wakati wa maandamano kama sisi ni watu wa biashara vitu zetu zimeharibika sana tu, kwa maana hizo siku nyingi tulikuwa tunakopa madeni na hizi kulipa hizi madeni imekuwa shida kwa sababu tumetupa vitu mingi sana na njaa pia iko kwa nyumba watoto pia wanaenda shule tumekuwa na wafu pia watu wamekufa Watu wetu wameumia sana kama mimi ni mkaji wa Nyalenda. Tulikuwa tumeenda hasara sana. Sasa tunaomba hao watu wakubwa wetu wakae chini, waongee, warudishe Kenya mahali ilikuwa kwa sababu uhuru uhuru ni uhuru na tukiwa na matata hatuna uhuru tena. Na tumejua wakiongea na maombi yetu wataleta matunda na nchi itarudi mahali pake. Kwa sababu Ruto sasa alisaya chukua mamlaka na yeye ni kiongozi. Sasa aite viongozi wengine, eh, wazee wengine wakae chini, watengeneze Kenya amani rudi na mambo iendelee vizuri. Na tunajua kwa maombi yetu mambo itakuwa mazuri kwa sababu hatutaki mabaya, tunaomba waongee na waleta amani na vitu zirudi chini kwa sababu maisha yamekuwa ngumu sana. Sasa hii tukiwa na pesa hata pesa maana yake ni kidogo sana. Na tunaomba waone vile watafanya hii ndio Kenya wafurahie sisi tuanze tupate matunda. Na tunajua kwa majaliwa ya Mungu wataongea wale ambao wanataka kuleta matata huko na huko wasimame kando waache wao wazee watengeneze Kenya. Kwa maana Kenya ni kubwa kuliko kila mtu. Lakini hii nchi yetu tunafurahia hatuwezi kwenda mbali kwa sababu hii ni Kenya yetu. Na tunajua kwa majaliwa wataongea na watasikana na tunaomba Mungu awasaidie asante sana First of all I'm called Richard Odiambukelo Atito a trader within Baspark and also one of the leaders within Baspark Mine is very simple or to the ongoing mediation One I want the two leaders who are sitting on that mediation process to leave this their hard not stands to put this interest in the global map and the interests of the people of Kenya first. Second to that, I also want to say that during our Amanda Mano, which brought the protest and which has also brought the, the current mediation, there were issues which were pertaining to those Amanda Manos. They must be put on table first because we want them to be a, a good resolution made between the two parties, whereby Azimio and the Kenya Kwanza government put in the matters of the people of this country. Third, we also want the government to look at the, our people who are deteriorated or who are also involved during the Mandamano, those who need to be compensated because some of them are lying in the hospital feeling bad due to the injuries caused because of the Mandamanos. So we call the government because the government is the one who knows what happened to them because some of them have got live bullets which they are now perishing in the hospital. Lastly, I want to say that the mediation which is ongoing must be in a reflection of the interests of the Kenyans as we want because currently the high cost of living and being that the court passed the financial bill and yet the high cost of the living has gone very far. So we want the mediation also to look at that matter because the court has already passed the financial bill and yet the mediation is also going. So there are two things which must come together. So we want those masters and so on. Otherwise, I thank you for giving us time and audience.